Hey guys, it's Jess with Sassy Goat Soaps. Just wanted to stop by, say hey, and do a quick little chat about some of my holiday release. I released this a couple weeks ago, November 15th, I believe, and it has been amazing. So thank you guys so much to those who have ordered. Um, I just, I truly appreciate it. I'm actually contemplating if I need to try to do small remakes of some of these things because I have um, another farmer's market and a mistletoe market down in Ander at Vicious Fishes Brewery next Saturday, December the 12th. So if you're in the Triangle area and you're looking for something cool to do, come down to Vicious Fishes. Um, there's going to be food trucks. There's going to be lots of vendors. It will be outside, um, but it looks like the weather on Saturday is going to be gorgeous, like in the 60s. So I believe that's from 12 to 4 or 12 to 5. So anywho, but I do have some products left and I have some really cool gifts for stocking stuffers, for teachers, for co-workers, you know, just small little gifts. But I know that a lot of you guys are really trying to support local and small businesses this year. So I just wanted to get this out so you guys can see some of the stuff I have. So I've made some peppermint fluff sugar whip soap. And I also have this in winter candy apple. Those are the two sugar whipped soap scrubs I made this year. A sugar whip soap scrub, for those of you who don't know, is a two for one. It is a foaming bath base mixed with uh, cane sugar and it makes a scrub and a soap. Mm. And this is just a straight peppermint um, scent. It's not overwhelming, but it's really, really refreshing, really, really nice. These come in nine ounce and five ounce. So I have these. Um, I have my, <laughs> who doesn't need this right now, right? Stress relief. These are creamy sugar scrubs and these are emulsified sugar scrubs. So they are made with a vegan plant um, emulsifying wax and uh, a little bit of beeswax. So they're not vegan, but, oh, and this is spearmint and eucalyptus. But the creamy sugar scrubs leave a nice lotion feel behind on your skin. So they're super silky and smooth and they exfoliate, obviously, but they don't leave the slick, um, oil like on your skin or in your tub or your sink or whatever. So in the creamy sugar scrubs, I have stress relief and fig and cream. And these also come in uh, nine ounce and five ounce. I have traditionally in the past made lotions, but I have really been working on a body cream. So I've always done whipped body butters in the past in the winter, but they just, for me, are a little too greasy. And even though they're super moisturizing and ultra rich and wonderful, they're just too greasy for me. So I spent the better part of this year researching and testing recipes, and I have come up with this super wonderful body cream. It's like an emulsified body butter. And the great thing about this is these are made with natural ingredients. Not like when you go to a store and you look at the ingredients and it's like a laundry list a mile long. Um, I used distilled water, shea butter, mango butter, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, emulsifying wax, stearic acid, which is also a plant-based type of emulsifying wax, and I do use Optifin as a preservative because it has water. And then this has fragrance oil and vitamin E in it. So these body creams are very rich. They're very moisturizing, but they're ultra fast absorbing. I mean, they are just amazing. I just, I've fallen in love with this. And I don't think I'll ever make another lotion or another body cream. Mmm. And this is fig and cream. An enticing blend of rich fig, amber, sandalwood, fresh lemon, and cream. It's just a very elevated, sophisticated scent. It's just delicious. And it has delicious things for your skin in it. So um, I offer the body cream right now in fig and cream, in bear, which is just unscented. And then I have it in uh, winter candy apple and peppermint fluff. Hold on a second. I should have got a winter candy apple, but I didn't. This is a Mary Berry blend of candy, red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. And the winter candy apple comes in the sugar whip soap scrub and the 
body cream. Now, one of the really cool things I have going on right now, especially if you're looking for teacher appreciation gifts, um, a small gift for like a white elephant or something like that, or a dirty Santa, or just friends and family, is I have these Pamper Me duos where um, I think there's four options. You get a body cream and a sugar scrub, and they're right at $15. And they come in these little um, clear holiday bags with little silver snowflakes, some shred, and then a ribbon around it with a little gift tag on it. So you can do the winter candy apple combo. You can do the fig and cream combo. Um, the bear actually comes with a bar of banana and oat unscented goat milk soap. And then in the peppermint fluff, you get the peppermint fluff cream, body cream and the sugar scrub. And again, these are right at $15. Perfect for little stocking stuffers or teacher appreciations. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of my winter soaps. This is the winter candy apple. Um, it just, it's very lightly scented. So this is a good option for people who like pretty decorative soaps and not too much scent. It's very nice. This is one of my favorites. It's just a plain simple and it's called spice citrus, but it is a orange and clove orange and clove fragrance and it's got some nutmeg and some cinnamon it's just really mm, smells like a cup of Russian tea if you've ever had that so this right now is in my shower and it's one of my favorites for the winter and then for those who like the more piney this is festive force this is a blend of pine and fir it's got a little bit of sweet a little bit of musk um, but this is a really nice holiday soap especially for those that like more outdoor and woodsy scents then I have a few others. Um, I'm not going to bring them all over here. I have my Christmas Star, which is a frankincense and myrrh. It's kind of got more of a vanilla and a sweet scent to it than some of the other frankincense and myrrh uh, soaps. I have, um, sorry I keep saying hmm. I'm trying to think and talk at the same time, and sometimes that requires a lot of effort. Um, the Hot Buttered Rum, which has got nice notes of rum and butterscotch and toasted caramel. Then I have... Oh, sweater weather. Uh, soap didn't turn out the way that I wanted, like, aesthetically. But, oh, my God, it smells amazing. Uh, and all these soaps are listed on my website, so you can go and you can read the descriptions. I am running low. I don't have a lot of the winter soaps left. Completely sold out of the peppermint. That went in, like, a week. Now I know for next year to make more. But I actually think I might make some peppermint soap. Maybe add a little menthol and a little something different to it for, like, a rise and shine morning soap. Um... Also, I have, just in time for the time of the year, these menthol shower steamers. Um, these are cute little one ounce size pucks that you put in the shower. They'll last one shower to two, depending on how, how you like it. If you just wanna get a little bit of effervescence of the menthol in the sinus blend, or if you need a lot. Um, so these are just baking soda, citric acid, cornstarch, menthol Christmas, and a sinus relief blend that's got like eucalyptus, camphor, rosemary, and peppermint in it. You simply place the shower steamer in the corner of your shower out of the direct way of water, but where your water still splashes it. And so, and then enjoy your therapeutic shower. So you just get a little bit of water on it to get it activated. And then I just kind of kick mine out of the way and then I can just splash some water on it. And it's just, uh, mm. So perfect for opening up your sinuses, getting you refreshed. So I have these on the website also. Um, this is the time of year where we're trying to boost our immunity and protect ourselves. I have my Protect Essential Oil Rollerball Blend. This is a blend of oils, wild orange, clove, cinnamon, cassia, eucalyptus, rosemary. And then it's just diluted and fractionated coconut oil. Not making medical claims, I am a certified aromatherapist, and these oils are known to help boost your immunity and have protective antibacterial, antimicrobial properties to each of these oils. Take it, shake it, rub it behind your ears, rub it on your chest, rub it on your throat and the base of your neck. I do it like twice a day. Essential oils cross the blood um, barrier so they can get into your system, so that's how they can be therapeutic and how they can protect you. And then, again, to go along with the stress relief, <laughs> serenity, soothing and calming. Um, this has got lavender, cedarwood, hoewood, ylang ylang, marjoram, Roman chamomile, vetiver, vanilla bean, and sandalwood. And this is just a very soothing and calming rollerball blend. I like to take this and just smell it, and then I rub a little bit on my chest and then behind my ears and then smell it again. Um, Y'all... 
uh, essential oils are just amazing. I truly love them. And I don't use them a lot in my soaps because the properties of essential oils don't survive the saponification um, process. But I use some in some soaps because um, the smell comes through. It's a very nice smell. And some people just like to have their soap scented with something natural. So, anywho. Then, also, I have restocked my soothing salve. This is how my company got started years ago. My son had eczema and the steroid creams that the doctors gave him made his skin just so red and so inflamed and I was like there's got to be something better. So I just started researching some natural remedies for eczema and kept coming across these salve and these balm recipes. So I experimented for a couple of years and, well not a couple of years, excuse me, I experimented for a couple months and I used it for about two years um, on him and it kept his eczema at bay and then I used it whenever I would have a dry skin spot or a cut or a scrape or just anything. I was like, oh, use my salve, it'll fix everything. And it really does, it's great. Um, it is calendula infused um, olive oil. So I take the calendula and I infuse it, um, put it in olive oil and I let all the good calendula properties come out of it. Coconut oil and then beeswax and vitamin E. And then it's just got a blend of different essential oils that have properties to be cleansing and antibacterial and antimicrobial and healing. Um, and so this is just a nice um, herbal salve to keep anywhere you can, literally I use it on my chapped lips use it on dry skin put it on my um, you know cuts and scrapes and, and it's just awesome so this is back in stock this is just a great thing to have so those are just a few things that I have right now to for my holiday release that are online I will be keeping my online store up but over the two weeks for Christmas because my normal job uh, as a paralegal um, we get two weeks off at Christmas so I will be using that time to restock tons of soaps because if you I basically have one two three four soaps um four different soap types on the curing rack um that are ready and then the rest of my soap supply is pretty small and dwindly um which is great it's fine you guys have been wonderful throughout the year supporting me buying stuff uh, buying soaps I do encourage you to go to my website sassygoatsoaps.com sassygoatsoaps.com I do have a whole bunch of stuff in my sales store and it's stuff that there's nothing wrong with it it's just like there's one bar of soap left or one thing of bug spray or you know some stuff like that there's just one or two of these products left and I just really want them to find a good home so I can restock for 2021 and uh, thank you guys I appreciate it and uh, you know, drop a link or a comment down below in the comment if there's something that you're looking for for 2021. A particular type of soap, um, any, you know, type of scrub, type of body cream you might like, scents you're looking for. Um, drop me a comment because I always love to hear from you guys because I do this so I can provide you products that you like, that you want. <laughs> so I would love to hear from you. And follow me on Facebook and on Instagram, Sassy Goat Soaps. And uh, thank you guys. Have a great day.